Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. I am back in my daughter's room hiding out for this update. This is the one month update for Finish 7 by 7-Eleven. This project was created by my friend Chelsea. She created this quick two month project to honor her mother and to kind of have a little fun with the convenience store 7-Eleven. This is a collab with her, me, and my other friend, Billy. The three of us are doing this project together. There are seven items in this project and they are all focused around the convenience store of 7-Eleven. If you wanna see why I chose the products that I chose, you can always go back and watch the introduction to this project. If you missed it, I will have it in my playlist. But for today, I'm just gonna kind of go over the products and how I'm doing with all of them and where I'm at. I do have one empty this month and I don't have it to show you guys, but it is the candle. I finished the three wick candle in the scent Sparkling Limeade. I chose that because it reminded me of a Slurpee flavor that I would love to try. And um, after I completely burned it up, I took a photo of it. I had a total of seven empty candle jars and I found a woman on Facebook who was interested in them, so I gave them to her. So I don't have the empty to show you today, but I will insert a picture of it and just to remind you of what it was. So that is gone. So I actually have an empty in the first update. Um, I have used all of the remaining six products at least once, some definitely more than others. This lip gloss from Mary Kay in the shade Berry Tart. Um, is still going no sign of it slowing down. I did not use it nearly enough in the past month to um, Finish it, but hopefully I used it enough so that this next month I can finish it. We will see I am wearing it right now It is a pretty pink color Really easy to wear Up next I have my Lorac quad and I was focusing on this lightest silvery gray um, sorry silvery lavender shade right there I um, kind of forgot about this one I have just been focusing on a similar shadow of ColourPop Super Shock shadows that I have in my Peeping Pans project. And so I keep going to that one over choosing this one. But I did use it once and I thought it was a really nice inner corner highlight. So hopefully I will try and get some more use out of it in the next month. Up next is this NUX body oil. Um, I've used this two or three times and I am not really a fan of this. It is glittery. When I first tried it out last month, it looked just kind of shimmery, but I put it on the other day in my bathroom and kind of forgot about it, you know, and a few hours later, I was outside and I looked over and it was like glitter all down my arm, which was a little bit more than I was looking for on like, a Thursday morning but it's a nice oil it's just not something I need so yeah we're working on it um, it was completely brand new last month and there is it was like up the bottle and now you can see right there there's a little a little bit of usage I obviously did not use much I'm also noticing that it can be kind of challenging to get any product out I don't want it to pour out, but I'm when I'm careful, not a whole lot of product comes out. Like, you would think if you tipped it like this, it would be dripping out, but it doesn't. It's kind of scary. So I just kind of dot it on my hand like this. There's not much product on there, you can see. And I kind of rub it in my shoulder. It has a nice scent to it. But yeah, I can't get a whole lot of product out. But I'm worried there's like some kind of bubble in there or something. And when I get through it, it's just going to come pouring out. I don't know. Maybe I should be sticking like a Q-tip in there and just pulling some product out on the Q-tip. Have any of you guys ever had this little bottle? What's been your experience? Let me know. Because that's kind of how it goes for me. Okay. 
Up next is a shadow in my e.l.f. 100 pan palette. It is this hot pink one right here. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but I got a little dip going on in there. Yeah, you can see. It's a small dip, but I don't think these pans are very shallow. At, or I'm sorry, I don't think these pans are very deep at all. So no sign of hitting pan yet, but I have been using this quite a bit. I'm wearing it today in my transition. And I just love that color. It is so fun to have a hot pink shadow like that. So I'm really enjoying it. Okay, the next two, the last two products are ones that I measure. The first one is this e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator. I did use this several times over the last month. Not, oh my gosh, it is so like, <laughs> it's in bad shape. But I did make some slight progress right there on that. And the last thing is this NYX Butter Lip Balm. And I'm not going to roll it up, but again, you can see I made a small amount of progress on that as well. This is really a great product. The problem with this is that it's a little bit like, it leaves my lips a little bit washed out. And so it's not just like, oh, let me swipe this on and get a nice glossy lip and go. I have to go back in with a deeper... Um, lip pencil to kind of define my lips and then sometimes I put a gloss on top of it so it's actually kind of a high maintenance product because it just kind of washes out my lip color let me see if, if you can see it if I put it on top of this no, it's not really going to show up I also have a lip stain on today so I don't know. It just leaves my lips looking um, kind of like I put concealer on top of it when I just apply this on its own. But it feels great. It smells great. It's very comforting on my lips. So I love the way it feels. I just don't like the color. And this is the color marshmallow, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, the color marshmallow is not my choice. I think I got this in an Ipsy bag, probably. So that's why I have it. But I'm glad to be getting some use out of all these products. There's only one month to go in this project before it's over. This was a quick two-month project. So the finale is going to be on July 11th. And hopefully I will have one more empty. And some good progress on everything else. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.